We just hit 10,000 subscribers and to celebrate, you asked for a special video. So welcome to my brewery. A couple years ago, I moved into a new house and started building a brewery on one wall of my two car garage. In this video, I'll show you around the brewery and give you some tips for optimizing your own brewing space. This brewery build started with removing everything from the garage and pulling every single nail and screw from the framing. And there were a ton. Once we had a clean slate, we started installing the panels. These are quarter inch birch plywood panels from my local hardware store and the intention was to add some warmth to my videos while also setting things up for some integrated storage. We used a couple small pegboard panels as a template and after a ton of tedious drilling and sanding, the pegboard wall was complete. From there, it was just a matter of bringing in the furniture, organizing the gear and styling the space. Over time, I slowly moved things around, acquired new gear and furniture, and found new ways to organize everything I need to make all these brewing videos. Closest to the garage door is my milling cart where I keep six malts on hand. I have pale malt, pilsner, Vienna, malted oats, white wheat, and dextrin malt. Up top, I have a three roller malt muncher from Kegland. The reason it's right next to the door is because this thing gets dusty and it's nice to be able to wheel it into the driveway and blow it off. Next to the milling cart is my garden hose powered stainless sink with a wire organizer above that allows me to hang hoses to dry. This three-tier stainless shelving unit fits perfectly underneath and this is where I store my most used cleaning supplies like sanitizer, spray bottles, bottle brushes, and gloves. The next cabinet is kind of a mixed bag, but all of this is stuff that I use in this particular area of the brewery. A big thing of PBW, lactic acid, flasks, some oxygen, and a few other things. Right above that is my October SL1 can seamer, and this is where I package my beer into either cans or bottles. In the drawers to the right, I store everything I need for packaging like caps, wax, cans, and tops. And because I brew right in front of this cabinet, this is also where I keep all my valves and accessories for the Brew Tools B40. The tri clamps, gaskets, and a few other tools hang from the pegboard right above the can seamer. So, this is my packaging space and my brewing space, and it works really well for both. Then the fridge is usually as far to the right as I show in my videos. This is where I store yeast and other ingredients, and I also use it as a kegerator. This wooden box sits between two glass shelves and holds some Nuka taps in place so I don't have to make holes in the fridge. Since it's right next to my packaging space, I can easily condition and carbonate in the fridge and then use an attachment on the Nuka taps to bring beer over to the cans. Now, here's a view you don't usually see. I have storage all around the fridge for everything from bucket fermenters to hops and gnarly merch and everything in between. Right in front of all that storage is my fermentation station. I got a small shed from my local hardware store and cut some holes in the side to send glycol in from my brewbuilt Icemaster 2 glycol chiller. That way the heat exchange happens out here and the fermenters are shielded from everything that happens in the garage. And circling back around to the brewing space, these are all things you've probably seen in my videos. I have my brew tools counterflow chiller mounted to a stainless steel cart where I also store the steam hat and the trubinator. Then I have the SS Brewtech Brew Cube, which puts the B40 at the perfect height, and a rolling toolbox that stores mostly fermentation related things like bungs, airlocks, and tri clamp accessories. A lot of times I'll set up a hot liquor tank here or turn it at an angle to film stuff like this. So, 
That's the full tour of the brewery, but keep in mind the rest of the space is a garage just like yours, full of tools, wood, camping gear, and other piles of random stuff. Putting the brewery all on one wall with the fermentation station floating on the right makes it so I can frame all my shots in a way where you can't see the mess. And that's the kind of stuff that can prevent you from wanting to brew or make videos. If you want to create a brewery like this one, here are a few things to keep in mind. First, try to avoid just putting everything against the wall. While your first instinct might be to just line everything up, you'd be missing out on a ton of functional space. And while you're using depth to your advantage, create stations to support your workflow. A station for milling, a station for brewing, fermenting, packaging. And that brings me to my next tip. Don't worry about storing all like things together. Instead, store things where they're used. You might have noticed that my fermentation accessories are kind of far away from the fermentation station, and that's because I clean and sanitize the fermenters in the brewing space. At the same time, it's also helpful to make everything mobile. My Brewtools F40 is pretty hard to move from the fermentation station, so sometimes, I just push this toolbox over to the fermenter to get it set up. Same goes for the chiller, the milling cart, and even the storage by the fridge. Put wheels on everything you can. And finally, take advantage of vertical space. The things you use less often can go up high, and the things you use all the time can go lower down. The only other advice I have is to start with what you have, and then continuously improve it. A lot of what you see in here, I either found on Facebook Marketplace or made myself. So be creative and keep an eye out for things that can improve your brewery. I'm stoked to hear what you think about the space and if you have any questions, let me know in the comments. My name's Dan, this is Hobson Gnarly. Thanks for hanging out with me today. I'll see you again soon.